I've never been to Dream State. He's never been to Dream State. First time. So we're gonna give you our full, honest review. Mm, 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 mm. See you guys um, at the festival. Figure out parking has been a zero out of ten so far for Dream State. But figure I feel like out. that's the case for every festival, honestly. Yeah, and it also might so. be because, like, admittedly, I didn't research like specifically where the lots were. I just assumed yeah. that there would be obvious signs. Also, meet our friend. Hey. Hi, I'm Alan. Oh, somebody's coming up. Turn around. Turn around. What? Yeah. Yes. Go to the green lots. Okay. The green lots. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, we gotta turn around. General parking was a little bit far away, but honestly, the walk wasn't all that bad. I did get catcalled by some random people in cars on the street, but you know, whatever. Lift up your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> So we walked into the event, there were so many lights, and we could hear the trance music bumping. And right when we walked into the event, we actually ran into our friends Lena and Vinny. We actually saw so many of our friends at Dream State, which was so nice and just made the experience so much better. It's my first time meeting both of them. Oh, best day ever. Honestly, one of my favorite parts about Dream State was the crowd. Everyone in the crowd was so plur, just good vibes, and just really brought that good energy that I love about festivals. Okay, so we've had an eventful entrance in here. I thought I lost my phone. I did lose my phone. I went back to where we were taking pictures. It was there. Thank God. I literally fell on the ground and curled up into fetal position, and this girl came over. She's like, are you okay? Life though, like she, he, yeah. they, she thought that you were in a panic and someone came over yeah. to help. This is why festivals are amazing. It was such a sigh of relief, but now we've got our water filled up. We need to go pee, and then we're ready to rage. Dance, dance, yeah. dance, dance, dance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Emily's pants were a little long. I suggested we come to the first aid tent to get scissors, and they had them. And now this kind gentleman is making a headpiece out of her furry bottoms. So there are four stages at Dream State. The smallest stage is The Void, which played deep, melodic, and progressive trance on one day, and then hard trance on the next day. We walk over and play Cage of Love, like it was perfect timing. We even heard some techno and even a little prids at this stage. This was a small stage, but you could get close to the front and have plenty of space to dance. And the floors were like dirt grass and were probably one of the easier floors to dance on.
there's the vision, which is actually the only indoor stage. And you actually have to go through a line in order to get into the vision. But once you walk in, you are just, ah, uh, overwhelmed with lights and lasers. Really, really like the stage. And what I liked even more was the floors. The floors were really smooth and by far the easiest to dance on. The only thing was it definitely was also the hottest stage because it was indoors. The third stage is the sequence, which is actually the side trance stage, which I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I spent a lot of time there this weekend and I kind of fell in love with side trance. The energy is so electric and everyone in the crowd is always just dancing and having the best time. <laughs> The last stage is the dream. Now this is the main stage where you're gonna see the biggest artists. One thing I will say about every stage is that there was so much room to dance. However, the dance floors at the dream and at the sequence were very rough and were so hard to shuffle on. It's almost like the surface needed to be like repaved or redone. Probably was my biggest complaint of the whole festival, to be honest. That's a success, 10 out of 10. Wow. Bumpy start a little bit at the beginning. A little bit of a bumpy start, for sure. Took off running. Overall festival, run really well. Yeah. Um, love the stages. Oh, the people, though. Crowds, people were the best. Never had the any yeah. bad experiences no. with people. We'll see you for round two tomorrow. So, we are walking into day two. Feeling a little tired, but ready. Who are we most excited to see? I think Elon Bluestone for me. Elon I feel like it has Bluestone, to be. Elon Bluestone, yeah. But honestly, just gonna go where the night takes us again. So let's go. We started out with some Anjuna because you guys know I'm an Anjuna fan till I die. Dream State was just such a magical experience. I definitely am gonna try and go next year. I think I really like the niche sort of festival where it's just one genre rather than a bunch of genres in one festival. They both have their pros and cons, but what I will say is the crowd at Dream State was just unbeatable. So I cannot recommend this festival enough and I cannot wait to go back next year. I love you guys. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.